coach of the Jets, Adam Gase, is with us right now. Adam, it's Michael, Don, and Peter. How are you today? Good. How are you guys doing? We're doing okay. Uh, I guess I'll ask it this way. I mean, how did you guys go in and lose to an 0-11 team? Uh, you guys had just won three in a row, scored 34 points in each of the three games. How does that happen? Uh, we didn't play clean. We didn't, we didn't do a good job with things that were in our control, whether it was drops or penalties, especially in offense. You know, defensively, I think, considering they had the amount of moving parts they had during the game, I think the defense did a really good job of kind of patchworking things together and holding the fort. We never could swing the field position, you know, having having penalties on kickoff returns and pinning ourselves back and then not being able to, to dig our way out of that one. It just We just kept putting ourselves behind the eight ball. But, but who's that on, Coach? Is it on the coaches? Or are the players just not good enough? I mean, it's it's all of us. I mean, we just we didn't get it done. We didn't we didn't do enough to to help ourselves. We just just kept shooting ourselves in the foot. Well, you know, no offense to Cincinnati, but 0 and 11 is 0 and 11, right? So with all of the execution problems and field position problems, and, and Sam talked about being in too many third and longs, shouldn't she still find a way to overcome that against the team that hadn't won a game all year? Well, their defense was playing well the last three weeks. You know, that was the, really the biggest concern for us. You know, Andy Dalton getting back in there, that helped them. You know, they didn't turn the ball over. That That's really been their Achilles heel leading up to our game. You know, and then neither side, really, we had the only turnover with the safety, which in that game is is it's kind of a it's a double whammy because we give up two points, then we got a we got a punt after we got a kickoff after the safety, and w with that win, we we get a short punt, and and they got good field position. Well, why so little Le'Veon? And I know the obvious answer is going to be you were in a hole, but even when the game was at 17-6, it feels like there could have been more carries for Le'Veon Bell. Yeah, we had eight plays in the third quarter. Five of them were runs, and you know, I mean, that, it wasn't really on him. You know, we just we had a we had a holding penalty when we had an explosive play. You know, the first two runs of the, th the third quarter, and then the third down. You know, we dug it, we got ourselves out of it, and then we were right back in it because we got the holding call. And then we tried to we went three and out again. Next thing you know, it's the fourth quarter, and we're down twenty-two to six. But but coach, at the end of the day. And this guy's making thirteen million dollars a year, and he has ten carries. Uh, it, it just doesn't seem like it's it's acceptable that he would have ten carries in a game like that. Yeah, I mean, we only had, I think we had like forty-two plays total when it comes to before we had those two-minute drives. I mean, we had twenty-one plays that were in two minute between the end of the half and end of the second half. So I mean, we weren't really in like a bunch of rundown situations. You go back over the season, you know, the win over Dallas, you lose the next three. You beat Oakland, which was a team that was a wild card team at the time you played them. And then you come up with a loss to Cincinnati. Does this team not know how to handle prosperity? Well, why the steps back after what looks to be major turning points forward? I mean, we just didn't play well enough. I mean, it's when you have seven penalties on offense and six drops, that's, that's all, it's hard to win when you do that. You, you know, Coach, I'll, I'll tell you, it, uh, in all the years I've been in sports, uh, the, the, the greatest coaches always have a, a very even keel. But by listening to you today, and, and I mean, there's a, a day separated, Jeff fans want to hear you be a little ticked off or pissed off that you lost to the Cincinnati Bengals. I, I don't hear that. Yeah, I mean, I'm a lot more angry than what I'm ever going to show. I mean, that's just how I am. I, I try to say the same, but, I mean, anytime we lose a game, it's... It's not the funnest week to go through that after that game. I mean, yeah. do, you, do you play the what-if game, Coach? I mean, you lost to an 0-7 Dolphin team, an 0-11 Bengal team. If you win those games, I mean, the, the narrative today is completely different. Yeah, I wish we would have won those games. It would it, make all our lives a lot easier. But we didn't. We didn't play well enough, and, you know, now we're in the position we're in. And, and you've said that. You know, every week, you know, lack of execution. Your quarterback comes on Monday, lack of execution, didn't do this, didn't do that. So at 4-8, and eight, and there's been a lot of times where the team just hasn't executed the way they're supposed to. So is the team just not good enough to be better than what the record says it is? We just didn't play well enough when we needed to in those games. You know, when we've had opportunities to, to go win games on the road, we have to play better football than what we have. But can you, know, you play better? Yeah, obviously we've shown that. You know, the, the three games before this, we showed that we can play better. But, it's a, but to me, real, being a good team is being able to do it consistently. 
you know, and, and, and the flashes just aren't consistent enough. The, the one step forward, two steps back, you know, just trying to figure out exactly, is this a good team that just sometimes it gets away from them, or is it just, just not a very good team, or at least not a very good team right now? Well, I think when, when we have three games where we go on the road and, and we don't do what we need to do to win the game, I mean, it's, it's unfortunate for us because we're putting ourselves in a good enough position to at least be where we need to be there at the end of the game in, those, in the third and fourth quarter, and, and we're, not, we're not following through and finishing those. And in the other games that we, ha we have against the Giants, we did. Against the Redskins, we, we made plays when we had to. And then we were able to pile on that. And then against Oakland was the same thing. You know, we played in a bad weather game that we were able to take advantage of certain things. And, and guys, guys made plays. And last game, we, we really, when we did make plays, we got plays brought back because of penalties. I mean, we had two explosive plays, which that's really what's been the thing that's helped us so much is creating a shorter field by, you know, a guy making a play here and there and, uh, and 10 other guys executing their parts of it. And we didn't do that last game. I always wonder about that, Coach. They, were they explosive plays because the penalties happened? I mean, because the holding happened? Uh, I don't think so. That's what that's what makes it kind of sickening mm -hmm. is both those are, if they don't happen, they're probably... They're probably still happening the same way. Okay. You know, that's that's what's that's what the unfortunate aspect of it is. So how much pressure do you feel and are you putting on this team playing Miami this week with the with the risk of being swept by a, a challenging but but ultimately not that talented Dolphins team? Yeah, I mean our job is to go out there and try to find a way to win this weekend. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna pull out put everything we have into it like like these guys do every week you know that's the one thing that i've been impressed with is they haven't changed they work hard they they prepare they do all the right things it's just when we get to sunday we just gotta we gotta play the right way when did you find out jamal adams was hurt uh i knew i knew early in the game but it, w it wasn't nobody was really alarmed i think he was kind of he he probably held back a little bit because he didn't want to come out of the game and then after the game when i saw him after my press conference, then then I realized he he was hurting a little more than what what I thought. Gut feeling he misses this game. I'm not sure. We'll we'll see kind of how the week goes. I mean, we're going to be smart with him. Obviously, he's he's a guy that's you know very important to us. We just want to make sure that if he steps on that field, he's he's healthy enough and he, he can protect himself and he's not going to get hurt any worse. Any uh, new word on on C.J. Mosley? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna end up putting CJ on IR. He's gonna have surgery, so that's really kind of how his season is gonna end. And but it gives us a chance to get him back in the spring and, and get him going for the off-season program. And what's the surgery going to protect exactly? Or yeah, correct? I, I, yeah, I don't I don't know about all the details because it's like one of those core muscle things. Right. That they try to explain it to me, and I'm a few credits short of the MD. <laughs> Now you mentioned that you know even kill you're upset clearly with the losses. How how do you show your team? Do you express your emotions to your team, or do you feel it's important to to keep it even from win to loss? Every week's different. You know, it it kind of depends where we're at, and you know, for me right now, I you know I have a good idea of of what what our guys need from me, and right now what our guys need is they need me to. You know, all three phases are working together, and we got to get our energy level going to the point where we have a good practice on Wednesday. I mean, that's the biggest thing for us. If we, if we practice well, and, and that gives us our best chance to execute on Sunday. Guys, because they compete, they want to win, and when things don't go right, it's, you know, when, when you got to come in on Monday and, and watch that film and see the things that we got to fix, it's, mm -hmm. it's not the easiest thing to do. Well... When you, you game plan, and obviously it's all about execution. The play can only work if the team executes. So how much of an adjustment do you make with your game plan based on what you believe they can and can't do since it seems to basically be week to week? Like you mentioned, for three weeks it was all clicking. It was working. Didn't work against Miami. Didn't work against Cincinnati. So how much does that affect your planning trying to understand exactly how much they'll be able to digest and execute on that given day? Yeah, you got to adjust. You know, it's it's one of those things where it's it's ever changing. You know, and, and I think that's that's been consistent really 
throughout football, at least I, that's my been my experience over over my career. Where, you know, some weeks it seems like you can handle more, and guys are really understands exactly everything that you have in and why it's in and then sometimes it, you can tell when you're watching it in practice okay we don't understand what we're trying to do here and then you scrap that thing and move on to something different and you know it's you just have to be able to adjust and it happens in game if you know if things aren't going the right way then you got to kind of move in a different direction try to get a different personnel grouping out there try to try to find a way to different di a different way to get the other team into a different personnel grouping to help yourself Adam, we thank you for your time, and good luck on Sunday. All right, guys, thanks. All right, that's the Adam